Hey Virgo, it's me, Alex, and I am here to bring you your weekly tarot. So let's see what's going on. Judgment, Eight of Swords. Okay, so we have Judgment and Justice. So there's some sort of decision making that uh, you are currently working on. Judgment is like a revelation, right? Hearing that higher calling, that inner voice. Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups here. This kind of feels like uh, happiness in your life. Uh, I feel like with that Eight of Swords, a lot of you might have been stuck in your head when it comes to maybe waiting on happiness. Yeah, it's weird. I'm getting chills uh, at the back of my head, around my ears. I was uh, The reason why I'm getting those chills is because I just thought about or just receive the message that instead of waiting for happiness, you need to get out there and create more of it for yourself. Um, a lot of you are lonely. Um, perhaps your funds or money are low, but you don't need money to bring happiness, right? Happiness could be taking a, a nice, beautiful walk on a cool Sunday morning in your favorite park. Or, um, what, are, how do people say the, uh, create like those staycations where basically you are creating a very comforting, warm environment at home and, you know, just doing all of your favorite things, um, within a specific moment in time, right? Maybe you want to give yourself a facial, maybe you want to go on YouTube and figure out how to make a very simple meal um, yeah just it kind of feels like you have to create more of that now here's why that's important because once you create more of that your vibration um, levels rise and you will start to attract more of it Ooh, now I feel like I'm in the dark so judgment about your happiness You've been in your head, which by the way is act is, is acting as a block as far as why say for instance, you're not manifesting anything. Nine of Cups and the Empress is yeah, create more of a loving environment. Um, angels are also saying attitude of gratitude. And what is that other one? A, a rampage of gratefulness or something like that? Go on a gratefulness rampage. Oh, they're bringing in uh, Abraham Hicks. I know they wrote a book, How to Get What You Really Want. And one rule of how to get what you really want is first being satisfied with what you already have. Um, for a lot of you guys, it's been a long, hard road, long, hard journey. Um, yeah, this reading feels like those of you who first need to get back in touch with your heart yourself promote more self-love, do things that you love to do versus your kids love, your partner, your mate, whomever. I feel like, again, more of an investment within yourself when it comes to love will, will help you when it comes to attracting external love. So yeah, easily I could say self-love. A lot of you need, may need to get better at self-love. Um, Eight of Swords to me is also representing overthinking, similar to the Hermit, which is your major arcana, Virgo. And Justice and the Seven of Cups, they're your emotional options, right? Now, yeah, we could be talking emotional options related to relationships, but I feel like this is love abroad, attracting love on all levels, whether they're you know, interacting with your favorite cousin or your best friend or um, anybody who's going to invoke that feeling of love. And, you know, something I do kind of feel like you want more love, but I feel I feel like a lot of you guys are looking for that love to first happen outside of you. This reading is saying, no, you have to create it within first. 
There's a page of pentacles. Um, that is a message. Angels are saying that is this message. Because again, a lot of people tend to think that um, whatever is going on in the outside world is going to help and affect their inner feelings. Angel said, nope, it's always the reverse. Whatever you're feeling inside is going to translate and transmit itself into your outside experiences. I feel like for many of you, this reading is a reminder of that. Uh, the two of swords. Look, two of swords with the eight of swords is the ten of swords. Yeah, some of you have, and in Virgo, you are known as the, you know, uh, sign of perfectionism, you know, overthinking, being very picky, being very analytical, you know, overthinking, thinking an option and thinking about an option and then thinking about it again and then thinking, mulling it over. I feel like that's what's going on. And again, the two of swords is that symbol of blockage. Eight of swords is that symbol of blockage. So to an extent, your mind is blocking your manifestations. Seven of wands, resistance. Ooh, ooh, and being defiant and setting boundaries. There's that saying that when we put our guards up, we think psychologically and logically that we are protecting ourselves from outside influences. Well, first off, when you put that guard up, yeah, you're protecting yourself from outside influences, negative outside influences, but you're also blocking yourself from positive outside influences, right? Not only that, Eight of Swords, Nine of Wands, then you become a prisoner of your own thoughts. Um, an example of that is, oh, you know, I'm not going to date, you know, cancers anymore because the last cancer I dealt with was, you know, a liar and a cheater and a thief, right? And it's just that, that mind barrier or that, you know, um, that it's almost like that, that thing that you're telling yourself, it's the, it's, it's almost like you're creating your own truth, but it's yours. It may not be the outside worlds, especially other cancers as an example. So be careful about, again, those barriers that you're creating in your mind, because you know, they're forming, they're protecting you, but they're also blocking you. Tower. Okay. Well, I feel like here comes the burst of sunshine to break you out of this five of pentacles rut. For a lot of you guys, I do feel like um, maybe within a day of watching this video, you're going to hear some really good news. Now, the challenge for you, Virgo, is when you hear that really good news, for you not to water it down with all of your overthinking, overanalysis, and, and drain the happiness out of it, and then turn it into this two of swords, eight of swords, cold energy. Oh, there you go. The magician. Yeah. Angels are saying for a lot of you guys, you are going to need to, um, not outthink yourself out of this situation because you've done enough of that. I feel like with the nine of wands, three of wands is in the six of wands. It's almost like, no, 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 get moving. Right. Action speaks louder than words. Angels just said, and thoughts, right? Action speaks louder than thoughts. So perhaps for a lot of you, you know, the self-care, oh, I need to get up and go start working out. I know myself personally, I will watch the sh crap out of a, a workout video, be like, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Never do it. Ooh, King of Wands. Six of one. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Angels just said you're going to get your mojo back. Nice. Seven of Pentacles. But there's that overthinking again, that waiting, waiting, waiting for something to mature. Well, here's the thing. If you look at this card, right, that flower that's supposed to grow, you notice behind him, right? There's the implication that that's probably the sun. You notice how he's blocking it. Plant can't get any sunlight. I feel like that's your situation in a nutshell. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For some of you, you're waiting on waiting for love to arrive, right? That end all be all perfect love. But angels just said, give us a bullseye, right? In meaning, create that perfect love so the angels will know what to attract from. You know what I mean? If you create a bunch of memories and overthinking, angels are just gonna, or the universe law of attraction is just gonna bring you more situations that cause you to overthink and overanalyze.
<laughs> angels just said, and pick through. <laughs> I love my angels. New moon in Gemini. Oh boy. <laughs> Universe is telling on you, Virgo. And that's your cousin's Gemini, you know, who is also ruled by Mercury. Mm -hmm. Angels just said, uh, think less, do more. Got it. Got it. Take a breather. Last quarter moon in Cancer. <laughs> that's funny. I use Cancer as an example. Take a breather. Take a break from overthinking, Virgo. Get out and get some fresh air. Right? Um, yeah. You're, you're, and, and here's the thing. Justice. Judgment. It's time. Right? Um, not only that, but my angels just said, for many of you, you've been telling yourself this anyway. You know, I need to take a break from, I need to get out more. I need to do this. I need to do that. But Angel said, but Virgo has been like Alex, sitting on the couch, watching them workout videos instead of getting out there and working out. <laughs> All right. Who's this reading for, Angels? Ooh, new moon in Leo. Shine. Okay, Virgo, here come, mm -hmm. here come your happy, happy, joy, joy. Attuned to the divine. Nice, 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 nice. These are my moon manifestation moonology cards, which I absolutely love, or moonology manifestation. Love those cards. So Virgo, there you have it. Um, right now, the right thing to do is for you to readjust your vibrational frequency so that law of attraction has a target point to bring in that same vibration. Remember, like energy attracts like energy. If you stressed out, blocked up, and you know, waiting, that's the energy you're gonna you're gonna attract. And angels are saying for many of you, right? Because I have the three of wands here twice. For many of you, if you have been waiting, seven of pentacles, again, blockage, you're blocking yourself, but the reason why you have been waiting. It's not the universe who's taking long. It's you who's blocking the energy. Nice. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I was. Uh, they were talking to me about an analogy or an example. They talk something about a fan blowing towards you and like you're sitting in front of the fan and you're like, how come I don't feel no air? <laughs> All right, Virgo. I love you. I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I love you. Bye.